To watch this video in Hindi, go to the settings and select Hindi audio. Namaskar. Welcome back to Simplify Your Space. We all have certain items or areas in our homes that can be tricky to organize in a way that keeps them from deteriorating quickly. However, with some smart strategies and the right organizers, we can effortlessly tidy up these areas. In today's video, I am excited to share a variety of practical organizing hacks and tips with you. So, let's get started. We often bring various types of shopping and grocery bags into our home. Some are small, some have handles, some are paper bags and others are cloth bags. Organizing these different types can be challenging. Let's check out how we can neatly arrange them. For larger plastic or cloth bags, book fold them neatly and store them in a basket. If you remember long back in one of my videos, I demonstrated how to fold small grocery bags. Let's revisit that method. Fold the sides inwards, then start at the bottom to form a triangle and continue upwards. Tuck the remaining part inside. See how neatly it folds. These compactly folded bags can be stored in a box. You can arrange paper bags by folding them in half and placing them in a slim box. For easy access, place small grocery bags of this kind in a poly bag organizer. And as for the larger shopping bags, hang them behind the kitchen door using cloth hanging hooks. This way, all your bags are neatly organized and easily accessible. If you or your kids enjoy painting or crafting and you store all your art supplies like spray paints, paint jars, glue and hot glue guns directly in a cabinet, it can lead to a cluttered look. Moreover, it becomes challenging to access or retrieve specific items from the bag. A great solution is to categorize your art supplies and store them in separate trays or baskets. As someone who creates art and DIY videos, I organize my items by category. Additionally, to make the most of the vertical space, I use a two-tier organizer for small items like stickers, cards and origami papers. This organization method not only keeps your cabinet tidy but also simplifies the process of finding what you need. When you require items from a particular category, you can easily take the whole basket to your work table, keeping your space neat and your supplies handy. Closet doors are often the most underutilized spaces in our homes, yet they offer great potential for organization. While I have shared many ideas before, Today, I will show you how I make the most of the door space of my sari closet. On one side, I have installed this organizer having larger pockets, which is the highlights of this organizer. I use these spacious pockets to store my clutch bags and sling bags that I use only occasionally. Instead of hanging them out, I pack each one in a cloth bag and tuck them neatly into the pockets, keeping them clean and protected. 
This type of organizer is versatile and can be used to store a variety of items, helping you maximize your space and keep your closet organized and tidy. Nowadays, many people enjoy teas made from a variety of flowers and herbs, leading to an increase in the number of tea boxes in our homes. These boxes can take up a lot of space and contribute to clutter. To organize these tea bags more efficiently, consider using a specialized tea organizing box or you can repurpose any slim transparent box you have at home. I already had a transparent box and have used it to organize all my teas. This approach not only saves space but also makes it much easier to see and select from your tea collection. Having them all in one place, neatly arranged, enhances both the functionality and aesthetic of your kitchen or pantry. If you have school-going kids, they likely bring home various worksheets, art projects, paintings or group pictures regularly. These papers can easily become scattered and pile up leading to clutter. To manage this effectively, consider placing a dedicated dumping box in your children's room or near the entrance of your home. Whenever your children bring home papers from school or create artwork at home, encourage them to place these items directly into the box. This simple strategy helps keep all surfaces in your home clutter-free. Plus, if you ever need to find a specific paper, you will know exactly where to look. It's a straightforward and efficient way to keep your space organized and ensure important items are easily accessible when needed. Organizing children's books in a cabinet can sometimes lead to them toppling over, especially if they're not supported well. To keep your books neatly organized and easily accessible, particularly if you want to categorize them by subject, consider using this type of book organizer. With the book organizer, you can create distinct sections for each category. This way, if you need to remove a book from a particular section, the rest of the books remain undisturbed and in place. These organizers are especially handy for open shelves as they help maintain the books in a vertical position, preventing them from falling over and keeping your space tidy and organized. It is a simple yet effective solution to keep your children's books in order and your cabinet looking neat. Managing the extra stock of children's stationery can often lead to clutter if not organized properly. Initially, I was using different boxes for various items which seemed like a good idea, but it was taking up a lot of space. A clever solution I discovered is this smart box from IKEA designed to maximize organization while minimizing the space it occupies. This box is smartly crafted with sections of different sizes allowing you to sort and store all your stationery neatly. Its compact design is a significant space saver, ensuring your cabinet remains uncluttered. You can use this versatile box for many other purposes, such as organizing art and craft supplies, storing household tools, or even arranging children's hair accessories. If you are a fan of necklaces and prefer having them easily accessible rather than tucked away in a box, I have a practical and creative solution for you. Consider using under the shelf cup organizer a versatile and space efficient tool and place it on a shelf of your dressing table. This organizer allows you to hang your necklaces neatly, ensuring they are not only visible but also easily reachable when you're getting ready. Depending on your collection size and preference, you can opt for one or two organizers. It is also perfect for organizing hair bands and scrunchies. Previously wasted space above the shelf is now effectively utilized, 
keeping the accessories tidy and your dressing area cluttered free. Some cup organizers even come with two sides, offering even more storage options. Choose according to your preference and enjoy the convenience and aesthetic this organizer brings to your space. If your makeup drawer is messy, let's tidy up that too. We often use acrylic holders for lipsticks and nail polishes, but they don't hold many. If you have lots of these, try using drawer divider strips instead. They come in long pieces that can be cut to fit your drawer. You can make sections big or small and as many as you need. Look, it turned out like this after I made it. Now this goes into the drawer. You can now neatly store your nail polishes, lipsticks, eyeliners, kajal and lip pencils in this. Everything will have its own spot which makes it easy to find what you need. Plus these divider strips are more affordable than acrylic organizers. And that's all about this video. I hope you found these organizing hacks helpful. For links to all the organizational products featured in today's video, please check the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with others. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos. I will see you all next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.